Good morning, students. Welcome back to English class. So in previous class, I was explaining the lesson. So, what is the lesson name? The bell quill. The bell quill. So, what is the quill? The quill is the bird which has a short tail and fat bird. Okay, fat short tail bird is called quill. Okay. So, what happened in the story in the previous class? There, uh, there is a grove. Grove means a group of trees. There is a grove. In that grove, there are some of the group of uh, quills were living. So, in that grove, the elephants were there. That is the favorite place of the elephants to eat. Okay, for feeding the uh, trees, leaves, and uh, fruits, etc., etc. So, elephants also uh, grazing in that grove only, and the quills are also living in that grove. They made nests and they, they were living on the trees. So, only what happened? One of the quill uh, hatch eggs. Okay. So it, uh, it said to uh, father quill, uh, my eggs, my eggs will be safe until they hatch. So at that time, father quill said that you should take care of those eggs. Okay. You should take care carefully. Uh, look after those eggs. Then only the eggs will be safe. So one day what happened? A herd of uh, elephants are coming near the grove to feed themselves, to graze. Okay. So, while they are coming, the mother quill, mother quill was, uh, uh, already they hatched the eggs. Hatched the eggs, then what happened? They become the small nestlings. Nestlings means small birds. They become the small birds. So, while if the uh, group of a herd of elephants came to the, that grove, and while they were eating, what will happen? Maybe those elephants will destroy the nest. So when the, they destroy the nest, what will happen? The nestlings will fall down on the ground. If they fell down, what will happen? Those elephants will step on those nestlings. If they step on, what will happen? That is the biggest animal, these are the smallest birds. Maybe they will die. So the mother will wait to the Leader elephant. I told you one of the leader elephant. What is the name of that elephant? Bodhisattva. So, that is the kind elephant. So, mother will went to the kind elephant, the leader elephant, and it was requested. It was begged to the elephant. Please don't harm my little bird. So, then the leader elephant accepted. Okay, don't afraid of that. Don't worry. I will look after your children. Okay. Until all the elephants graze in the grove, I will look after your children. Don't worry, my dear. Like that, the little elephant said to the mother quill. So, until all the elephants eat the leaves, until all the elephants graze, and until they leave that grave, the grove, leave that grove, what happened? The elephant stood there only to look after the baby quill. So, after all the elephants leave that grove, the elephant is also living. While living, the elephant, the leader elephant, said to the mother quill. What it said that, okay, we did not harm your babies, but there is one of the rogue elephant, which is very harmful, very dangerous, wild and dangerous. Maybe that elephant will harm your nestlings. So be careful. Like that, the leader elephant said to the quill, mother quill. But then mother will replied that we are the small creatures, we are the small birds. What should we do? How can I save my children from that wild, dangerous elephant? Like that, mother will uh, ask talk to the leader elephant. Then leader elephant said only one thing. It said that you don't you don't have any other way. Just you go near the wild elephant, the dangerous elephant. Rogue elephant has said no. That rogue, you go near the rogue elephant and appeal them, appeal that. What appeal that means request or beg to that elephant that please should not harm my little bird. So like that you should request that uh, dangerous elephant. So it said the little elephant uh, suggested the, those things to the mother's will and little elephant also left that grove. Okay. After that, what happened today, we will see in the today's lesson. So here, what shall I do? I am so small and weak, said the helpless quill. So helpless quill said to the little elephant, what shall I do? I am the 
small and big. How can I save my children from the dangerous rogue elephant? So then, all you can do is to appeal to him for, to for mercy. Advise the good elephant and departed. That good elephant advises that you don't have any other way. Only you should go near the rogue elephant and appeal. That means uh, beg or uh, request. Request the rogue elephant that you should not harm my children. Please, you should not harm my children like that. You have to request that lead, uh, rogue elephant. So, little elephant suggested advised this to the quill, mother quill, and that also departed. Departed means left that place. Okay. That means it went away from the grove. Okay. So, after that, what will happen? What happened? We will see here page number 16. Open up. Page number 16. Okay. Textbook from your textbook, page number 16. So, yesterday I explained up to that, the paragraph. So, today I am going to explain the next paragraph. Before long, the rogue elephant arrived. The mother wasted no time and ran to the rogue elephant, begging, Oh, powerful one, I beg of you, spare my young one. How dare you to come in my way? The rogue elephant replied. And in no time, trample the nest and kill the nestling and the father. So, as the leader elephant advised the mother will, mother will the next moment, the mother will went to near the rogue elephant. When the rogue elephant also coming towards the rogue. So, at the time, the next moment, the mother will went to near the rogue elephant. And it was requested like this. Oh, powerful one. That means the elephant is a powerful elephant. So that's why it is uh, calling that uh, rogue elephant, oh, powerful one. I beg of you. I beg of you. I request you. I beg you. Please say, spare my children. Spare my means should not harm my children. Leave my children. Let them leave my children. Don't harm my children. Like that, the mother will request to the rogue elephant. Okay. So, what is that rogue elephant? So, the mother elephant begged the request to the rogue elephant. So, when the mother elephant was requesting to the rogue elephant, the rogue elephant was the, uh, replying like this. What it was replying? How dare you come here? How dare you to come here? The rogue elephant replied, How much, how dare you have to come here? You came to me and requesting me? How dare you have? Like that, it was the shouting at the mother quill. And not only that, and in no time, trouble the nest and kill the nestling and the father. In no time, it said that, How dare you to come here in my way? Look at here, what I will do. So the next moment, the rogue elephant uh, destroyed the nest and uh, Kill that baby nestling. And father will, you know, father will also there. He, he kill the father will and the nestlings and he destroy the nest. In no time, within few seconds, the rogue elephant kill the father will and nestlings and also nest. He destroy the nest. And also kill the father will and baby quills. Within seconds, it was killed all these birds. Then that is the end of your silly bird. The rogue elephant sneered. And not only that, it was killed the father, father quill and baby, baby quill. And also said, there this is the end of your babies and your father, father quill. So in means it was it already killed that. Okay. The elephant killed the baby and baby uh, quills and the father. And also saying that see this end of your babies and your uh, father father quill. So, you came in my way and you are requesting me, how dare you like that? It said and it also killed that. And said that, this is the end of your family. That means I killed your family members. Family members means father will and baby will. So, I killed them. That means your family ended. And uh, it killed not only that, it was laughing. So, it was laughing like that. Uh, uh, in the movie, you know, have you seen the movies, villains will laugh? How the villains will laugh? Like that, the rogue elephant also laughing at the mother will. So it is saying that this is, this is the end of your family. That means I killed your family members. See here, you came to me to request. You are the smallest creature. 
smallest but and you gave me to gave to me to request me that you I have to pay your family like that it said and it killed and it was laughing okay so we are trampled me trampled me destroyed me okay. Need need means here. My corn food. My corn food. Need means my corn food. That means. Without any kindness, without any kindness, it kill the birds and also laughing without any kindness. So that is the that is the smile stone tree. And now the mother feels grieved over her family for a long time. She over to keep the rogue elephant alive. She thought long and hard and finally came up with a plan. So after the end of its family, the mother feels only left. So that was grieved. The what? Okay, grieved over her family. Grieved means became sad. It was crying. Why? Because its baby and father will also die. So it it felt sad or not? The mother will feel sad. Why? Because its baby and father will father killed. Uh, this this family members killed by the elephant. That's why it was very sad. The mother will was very sad. And it was over that I will teach a lesson to the that rogue elephant. It was over. Over means promised himself that uh, mother will promise himself like that. I will teach a lesson to the rogue elephant who killed my baby and father elephant. Sorry, father pig. So oh, he agreed means he is sad. So feel sad. Oh, oh means it will take from Solomon from it. Solomon from it. From it to do something. It felt very sad because the rogue elephant killed the baby and father pig. That's why the mother pig was uh, feel very sad. That means he, here grieve means uh, to feel very sad. Okay, so morning that is the morning. It was mor morning, morning, and uh, it was oh oh means to take promise. He promised himself that I will teach a lesson to the rogue elephant. Why? Because the rogue elephant killed its baby and father pig. That's why the mother will promise himself that I will say uh, I will look the end of the rogue elephant. So he promised himself, and she thought long and hard, and finally came up with a plan. So the mother will was uh, planning. He wants to teach a lesson to the. Rogue elephant. That's why it thinks a hard and long time. Long time it thought it think. It think long time and it came with a plan. It had it. It got up a plan. What is that plan? Look at here. She went to her friend crow and narrated her sad tale. The crow was very sympathetic. The rogue must not go unpunished. The crow proclaimed and agreed to the mother's wish plan. So, so he got the mother will got a plan. So he came up with a plan, and uh, he went near the friend, his friend. Mother will have another friend. Who is that? That is a crow. Mother will have a friend. It is a crow. Mother will went near the crow and told all the story, whatever happened in his in his life, the sad story. 
story. What is the sad story? The dog elephant killed the babies and your father elephant. Okay, so the mother mother killed, sorry, not the elephant killed. So the dog elephant killed the baby uh, baby fish and father fish. So that story uh, mother will told the crow. Okay. Who is the crow? Crow is the friend of mother fish. Okay. Friend of mother fish. So mother fish went near the crow and told his sad story. And also, so by listening that story, the crow said that, yes, it is very bad thing happened with you. So we have to teach a lesson to the rogue elephant. So I will help you in that way. I will help you to teach a lesson to the rogue elephant. It's, uh, the crow said to the quill. Okay. The quill then went to her friend the aunt, and sought her help. So next, first the uh, quill went, mother quill went to the crow. Crow is the friend of mother quill. So crow accepted to help the quill. So then quill went to another friend. The quill has another friend. Who is that? That is ant. So it went to the ant and the seek her help. Okay. We went to the ant and asked that, please help me to teach a lesson to the rogue elephant. So the ant also accepted. That means they went to her friend and they sought her help. I heard about your babies, the ant said. I am deeply grieved. What can I do? The queen told the ant her plan and the ant readily agreed. So then ant said that, I heard about your babies. So that rogue elephant killed your babies. I heard that really, I'm sorry, I'm, I feel very bad for you. Okay, that elephant killed your babies. That's why I feel very bad and I feel very sad. Okay, I feel very sad for you. And uh, what help you want from me? I'm ready to help you. Like that, the ant said to the, said to the queen, mother queen. Okay, and also accepted to help the queen. Okay, then so the page number 70, point of finger, is it properly gone? Is it commonly? Is it properly? Okay, don't roam here and there. Sit in one place and listen carefully. Yes, next. The will then went to the frog, her long time friend, and narrated what happened. I am trying to get my friends. The crow, the ant, and you to help me punish the spiteful elephant who killed my baby and my husband. So the mother, uh, mother will went to this time went to the frog. First it went to the crow and then crow killed. Then it went to the ant. Then the third time it went to the frog. So the elephant killed the baby and the husband of the quill. So I take. Crow and ant help. And now I need your help also. To punish the, the pitiful, pitiful elephant. Pitiful means unkind. Okay. Pitiful means unkind. Pitiful means unkind. Behaving. Okay, so pitting for me behaving in, a, in an unkind way in order to hurt. Pitting for me uh, who can harm us. So unkind person. So here who is unkind? The rogue elephant is unkind. So the Mother will went to the frog and it was asking help from the frog. So crow and ant and you, you three members must help me. Please help me to teach a lesson to the dog elephant who is very unkind. And he also killed my babies and husband. So please help me like that. He asked 
Sorry, she asked the his friends. Who is she here? Mother Bill. Mother Bill asked the crow and the frog tell. This they are the friends of Mother Bill. Okay. So when it asked the help of the mother, uh, help of these three friends, they three also accepted to help the Mother Bill. Okay. Next, you can count on me," said the frog, and follow the quill. Okay, no problem. You can count on me. Count on me means depend on me, rely on me. I will help you. I will help you to teach a lesson to the frog elephant. You can count on me. That means depend on me. Count on me. Depend on. Me. Depend. Depend on me, okay? You can depend on me, no problem. I will help you. Like that, the frog said to the queen. Okay? The three friends then implemented the queen's plan. First, the crow dotted at the elephant and plucked out the elephant's eyes. Then the ant quickly went and lay her eggs in the eye sockets. As the eggs hatched, and the baby ants began biting. The elephant could not bear the pain anymore and desperately searched for water to wash his eyes. As the elephant dashed around in pain, the frog crawled close to a steep precipice. The blind elephant followed the sound of the frog croaking, thinking that water would be nearby. So what happened? These three friends uh, came. Uh, these three friends agreed to help the mother fish. So then they started implementing their idea, their plan. So mother will had one of the plan. So he got one of the plan which he wants to teach a lesson to the rogue elephant. So they, these three implemented, they started to implement their plan. So what they did, what is the plan? You will see this paragraph that the three friends that implemented the Will's plan. First, the crow dotted at the elephant and plucked out the elephant's eyes. First, crow dotted means dance, dance quickly. Okay. The crow dotted on the elephant. The crow ran at the elephant and sit on the elephant. It started plucking its eyes. Okay. You know, crow has a sharp beak. Do you know that crow has a sharp beak? So, with, that, with the help of that beak, the crow was plucking in the eyes of the elephant, the crow elephant. Okay. The crow went, quickly went to the elephant and it was plucking in the eyes of the elephant, two eyes. So, when it was plucking, what will happen? Can elephant can see? No, it, 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 uh, it had a pain. Okay. It started paining. Am I right? And it will be bleeding and water will come from the eyes. Am I right? If you pluck your finger in your eyes, what will happen? You feel pain or not? So like that, the crow went to the elephant. It was plucking in the eyes of the elephant. So it was paining to the elephant. And as soon as that, the ant, ant also went to the eyes. Inside the eyes, it started laying eggs in the I saw it. I saw it means here. Inside the eyes. It was laying eggs. What will happen? Soon those eggs become the ants, small ants. Am I right? When the small ants come outside, what will happen? They started biting. Okay. They started biting. First crow went to the elephant. It was plucking inside the eyes. And ants went to the ant went inside the eyes. Okay. And it started laying eggs. Soon those eggs become the small ants, tiny ants. And those ants starting biting in the eyes. So how that elephant, elephant will feel? It will become a blind. Am I right? One thing the crow is plucking in her eyes. In his eyes. And also the ant laid eggs. So that the eggs become small ants. And the ants will biting. If ants bite, what will happen? We feel pain. If the ant is biting in the eyes, what will happen? It's so painful. Am I right? So can we see at that time? Can we see? No, we can't see that. We feel pain. So like that, the elephant also feels pain. It became a blind. The elephant became blind. And it was searching for a water to wash its eyes. 
So when the elephant searches for a water, there is no water. Okay. Okay. When the elephant started searching for a water, what happened? There is one more friend of a fish. So is that the frog? The frog. Uh, the frog was croaking. Croaking means making sound. So what it was croaking? It, it started near the steep crispy. Steep crispy means there is a big rock. Okay. The frog sat on the big rock and it was croaking. So the elephant became the blind. He can't see anything. So at the same time, the frog was croaking by sitting on the big rock. So the elephant thought that there is a water nearby. The elephant thought that there is a water near nearby, and it was following the uh, croaking sound of the frog. The elephant was following the sound of the frog and went near the steep rock. Okay. So the remaining lesson I will explain tomorrow. I hope you understand today's story. Tomorrow I will explain the remaining lesson. Till then, you read this lesson. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.